All right, so I've had this mower for uh, going on two years now. This will be the second um, summer season, mowing season, that I uh, have had this mower. It's an Ego Power Plus electric blah. I bought it with a 7.5 amp hour battery, um, and then I also bought a, um, a medium one, I think it's like 5. Uh, let me check it, Let's see what it says. Uh, yeah, 5. Okay, so I have both of these batteries. Um, I live on uh, a third acre lot. Um, in Florida, blah blah blah, and at first I was really impressed with this thing, it, it, it does, you know, it was mowing pretty good, um, and then the moment summer hits and we get rain every day and, you know, stuff starts growing, um, well, I'll just show you, so, this is Bahia, by the way, I mean, it's not even like, you know, um, that rich fancy grass is really freaking thick. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that. Um, so, as you can, I've done the front lawn already, but this is taking me damn near all day. And I, I, I want you to understand what I'm up against here because it may be fine if you're in the northern part of EUS. It may be fine if you're on a tiny little yard, but this is a third acre. You know, so I bought so I bought two batteries because I knew the first one wasn't gonna cut it. But anyway, this is only a week worth of growth, and I've gone, I've recharged both of my batteries twice now today, and I haven't even finished the backyard. It's it's kind of crazy. And then when you start getting into this, uh, one, you're restricted to, like, the slowest speed, otherwise it bogs down and quits on you. Um, and it doesn't have... I'll show you what I mean here. Um, this grass isn't that wet. It's a little wet, but it's not too bad. Um, the previous gas mower would have had no trouble with this. I'm missing a couple spots, too. Um, but if you notice... The way this is set up, the exit is on the back, and it's up. So this isn't a main problem with this mower, and, and it's not even a matter of the battery power. I think it's a matter of the way this disperses the cut grass. You see how far up that is? So if this had the typical side where it was cut out, and it just shot out the side, it wouldn't clog up so bad but it clogs up all the time I mean you do two passes and you have to you have to freaking come in here and you know shoot it out with your hand and it doesn't have a thing on it to hook up a hose like a normal mower would and I think pretty much every mower on the market comes with that now I mean, I don't know of any mower that doesn't come with a hose hookup so you can just turn the mower on, throw some water in there, and it self-cleans. Um, I mean, flipping this thing over on its side isn't that bad. It's not that heavy. But it's it gets clogged so freaking easy, and I feel like if it had a side exit, that wouldn't happen. But these, these batteries, the other thing with them is they overheat. So I'm in Florida. It's currently 115 degrees inside this garage, and if I don't wait about 10 minutes to put that battery on the charger, it just tells me, hey, it's too hot, and then it won't charge. Um, and then the same thing, it overheats in the mower. The, the uh, motor gets too hot, and then it's like, nope, I quit. Um, so, and that's just a product of being... In the south, it's it's hot down here. I don't know why you would make a, a lawn and garden piece of equipment that can't handle heat. Um, you got to go back on the drawing boards on these batteries and that motor. Um, and you need to make it more heat tolerant. Um, I don't know how. Make these vents bigger. Do something. Um, 
but yeah, as it sits right now, I'm about sick and tired of it, and I'm thinking about going back to gas. Because these batteries, this battery is as much as a gas mower, by itself. This is like a $400 battery. I could go buy a nice walk-behind mower from Honda, mind you. Not, not one of these cheap Walmart ones, like a Honda for, for that kind of money. Um, and, and you talk about like the mower, that mower plus the battery was almost 600. This was another like 250. I mean, hell, for that kind of money, I could have bought a small riding lawnmower. You know, I don't know. It just seems silly. Um, I wanted to try this out and it was working good for a little while. For the first season, it was fine too. And these batteries have just, I feel like their performance has gone downhill in one year and that's just sad um you know mowers are supposed to last and these batteries claim to last five years but <laughs> if they last two i'll be impressed um so i wouldn't buy this product it's uh it's kind of garbage unless you only have like a tiny front yard like if you live in a really populated area and your front yard is like just that then yeah, but I've got, you know, and it's only a third acre lot. That's not a big lot. It's not like I'm trying to mow half an acre or an eight, a full acre, you know. I've been, I've used a push mower all my life, and I've never had this kind of issue with uh, um, anything. So, I don't know. I, I wouldn't buy this again. Um. So now I'm stuck between getting another battery because this one, this big one, now every once in a while will tell me it's defective and I have to wait about five minutes and then I can put it back on the charger and it detects it and it's fine, but like, that's, that's kind of silly. Um, I don't know. It's telling me something's wrong with the battery. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my experience with this mower and, uh, you know. I was kind of hoping it was going to be good. I originally bought it because I had a roommate who was not mechanically inclined and had a tendency to breaking mechanical mowers, um, gas mowers. Um, it completely destroyed a motor because he kept running it. He ran it with no oil in it, um, that kind of thing. So I bought the electric because I wouldn't have to worry about him destroying it. Um, but now he's out, so um, I think I think I'm going to go back to gas at some point. We'll see. Alright, so I thought I'd show you this. I know I've, as I kind of was thinking about this after I recorded the other video. And I'm going to go ahead and slam this uh, 7.5 that I finally got charged in here. That one seats better than the uh, smaller battery I found. Um... So I am going to uh, get this thing back out to the, uh, this thing, I mean it rolls, that's, it's quick when you're not under any sort of load. But if I try to go this fast in this grass down here, I feel uh, absolutely uh, not be able to do it. So what I'm going to do. to the slowest setting because that's what I pretty much have to do and uh, let me try to do this with one hand we'll see if I can ah I can all right so I'm gonna go ahead and swap hands so I can operate this thing you can't operate it with one hand once you get going um, you'll see I'm kind of bogged down when it starts getting through this grass. It's really short. And it all artificially increases its speed as it detects more. Doesn't expel. I don't know. 
like coming out the back. It's a very poor So this thick area is due to that drain field. Um, but I mean, that's only one thing. starting to hit the edges of the blade don't have much clearance and then this you see it's all clogged it doesn't push you see how high this is it doesn't push the shit through you can't you have to clean this out so if this had a side port you see it's all stuck in there and you can't it doesn't come out Flip it back over, and you have to do this, like, every few passes. That's just redonkulous. That's, that's stupid. That's a dumb design. And, uh, I mean, come on. I, I want, sometimes you wonder if anybody, whoever has mowed a lawn, designed this thing. So, anyway, figured I'd show it off, show you what I mean. Okay. So, here's where I was walking before I got that done. Now, mind you, that's the 7. That's the biggest battery that I could put in that mower. And that's all I got done. I didn't even get all the way out of the shed. And I still have... All that left to do. So, I gotta go get my 5 again. This will be battery number 5. And then the, the second one will be... Battery number six. It'll take six charges to do a third acre. Ego, get your shit fixed. Seriously.